Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at some of the luckiest people caught on camera. If this guy hadn't taken this little detour, his life would have gone very differently. Yeah. Oh my god, wait, did you see that? If he didn't pull in a couple of seconds beforehand, that rock literally would have hit him. That's terrifying, like I'm actually scared of everything. I say this every video, but after watching this video, I'm going to be scared of getting into a car in case something like that happens to me. We need to watch that again. So watch, he's just driving and the rock just falls down. Yeah, that's genuinely terrifying, like that's actually a fear of mine. My mom drives a lot for her work and I'm actually scared like a big boulder's going to hit her. These guys couldn't decide what tires to get on their new truck, so they were given a sample. Oh my god, wait, where'd that come from? I see videos like that all the time, like our tires just casually falling off vehicles. I swear I've seen about 50 videos in like these compilation videos where tires will just like randomly go into shops. Imagine the driver of that car that the tire came from, like he was probably shitting himself. He's probably thinking in my head, oh my god, if that hit somebody, I literally would have been charged with murder. Yeah, that is terrifying, that's something you don't want to happen to yourself. This guy literally saved his best friend's life. Oh my god, he would hit the rock. I used to do gymnastics whenever I was younger in like a safe area, like a gym place where like it's meant to be done. People like that scare me. I'm gonna assume that he's in the parkour. People who just like jump around buildings genuinely scare life out of me. Like I don't know why, I honestly think they're gonna hit something dangerous. I don't know, it's just the fact that they're literally jumping around like a monkey or like Spider-Man. But the thing is, if they fall, they're literally gonna die. If this guy was driving just a single mile per hour faster, his car would have been totaled. <laughs> where is that coming from? Like, did that literally casually fall off a building? Every single time I see these videos, it literally creates new fears. Where did that come from? Was that, like, on the top of a building? The people who created that building need to get sued and put into jail because that literally could have ended in a death. It's quite crazy that if he was literally a second ahead than what he currently was, he would have died. I don't know why, but I'm actually getting scared of getting into cars now. This motorcycle driver was out for a little joyride until he met his evil twin. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, I'm assuming that he's gonna be okay. Yeah, he was in the end, which was good. Here's so many ran people who ride motorcycles scared the life out of me. I don't know why there's just something about them. I think it's the fact that they're literally sat in like a bicycle that can go like 100 miles per hour. And whenever it comes to motorcycles, you usually hear them before you see them. Sometimes I'll be out on a walk and I'll just like hear the noise of it and then I'll see them zoom past me at like lightning speed. It is quite scary to think that if they literally fall, they could lose their life. And for some reason, that Muppet was going on the wrong side of the road. Another side rant, I hate people who overtake people in cars. I've been in cars whenever people have overtaken people and it's scary. You don't know what could be in front of you. Like they could literally cause a crash like that person nearly done. If this guy kept rubbing his elbow for just a second longer, things would have gone very differently. Yet again, where are these things coming from? Where is that literally coming from? Like, why are buildings literally collapsing? Should this be a new fear of mine? So far, I've got a fear of motorcycles, a fear of cars, a fear of boulders, and now a fear of getting hit by a thing off a building. This is literally the second time in this video that somebody's nearly gotten their head taken off by a thing falling off a building. Why are the buildings falling apart? Pro tip, if you travel to Russia, stay indoors if it's ever windy. Okay, of course this is in Russia. Oh my god. Why did that happen? Was that from like a tornado? I'm not surprised that happened in Russia. A lot of weird things happen in that country. That would also happen in America because a lot of American houses, especially at the big mansions in places like Texas, aren't made of the best quality like substances and fabrics. A lot of houses over there are made of wood and if a tornado comes along, they're literally gonna get like pulled apart. With my house, there's like wood as you can hear, but there's also concrete. And I feel like a concrete house is a lot better than a wooden house. When this cyclist was carefully crossing the road, he witnessed the very first flying car. Uh, yet again, why is this happening? Oh my god. The title really is what it says it is. The luckiest people caught on camera. That is literally something to see in GTA. You would only see a car properly flipping like that in a video game, but no, it happened in real life. Snow can be very deceiving. And this snowboarder didn't realize there was a cliff's edge until he stopped a mere Oh my inch god. Away. Wow. Oh. 
Yeah, no, that is scary. I think I've told this story time before. One time I was on a ski trip with my school and I fell out with my friend on it. I tried to push him off the cliff whenever we were skiing. I thought it was a really small ditch, but it turns out it was a massive one. But that is quite scary, isn't it? Where is that in the world? I'm pretty sure that guy wasn't meant to be riding down that, like, cliff. He could have lost his life. This dog should go and buy a lottery ticket after this. Oh my god! He nearly landed on the dog. Do you want to know? I can actually relate to that. There's been a few times where I've nearly stood my dog. If you've got like a dog, especially like a small dog or like another animal, you know like, oh my god, what it's like to nearly sit in them. I think there was one time I nearly sat my dog or nearly fell on her. I'm not telling you, I actually freaked out like I was terrified. I was really scared for my safety, mainly hers, because like somebody like me landing on you. Obviously I'm not that big, but like to her I'd be like a big massive boulder. But oh my god, that poor wee dog nearly got flattened. I'm telling you, we don't deserve animals like they're honestly way too pure. This poor girl had a severe panic attack underwater and quickly pulled off her mask. If oh, there no. wasn't a professional diver with her, she would have drowned. Oh my god, no, that poor girl. Oh no. Okay, she was fine in the end, which is good. I'm quite lucky where I've never really suffered from a panic attack or like an anxiety attack before. I've never really suffered from them things and I really don't want to. I think whenever you have a panic attack, you just start to like freak out and you don't know what to do. You start breathing lots, you start like getting really like lightheaded. And she was underwater as well and she pulled her mask off and her like oxygen thing. Wanna know something? She better thank her lucky stars that there was somebody there who was a professional to help her. Because if it was just her, I don't think she'd be here anymore. I'm not sure who's luckier the taxi driver and the passengers or the worker who would have faced some serious charges oh my god a proper hit the oh my god Wait a minute, that was way worse than what I thought it was. I thought they just like shattered the window thingy and that it didn't go through, but it did go through. What's that film where something really bad happens where like the big tube goes through somebody's head? I always hear people talking about it, but I've never actually seen it and I don't want to see it. That would remind me of that, like that genuinely would freak me out. Imagine what the poor driver felt like. Like he was literally driving along one minute perfectly fine and then the next minute like a tube nearly went through his head. That is what you call a disaster. This is why you should never travel with Thor in the car. Oh, yet again, where did that come from? I'm actually scared of getting hit by something whenever I'm in the car. I'm genuinely scared of stuff like that happening to me now. It could literally be a pebble. Wasn't there like a story of somebody who defeated Goliath or something like that with a pebble? Imagine a pebble literally goes for your mirror and then for your head. That would be terrifying. This guy was repeatedly told not to move, but he thought it was just a prank until he realized. It's a shark, isn't it? Oh my God, don't move. Oh my god. I'm assuming that he's fine in the end. Was that a shark or was it like another type of sea animal? I swear nearly all sharks will try to eat you except for Baskin sharks. I think we've got Baskin sharks in Northern Ireland. I'm pretty sure they just like, I don't even know what they eat. I think they're like the friendliest sharks, but I don't know. Imagine I go out to sea and get eaten by one. Imagine if he was in this guy's shoes. Okay, oh my god. Oh my god, another shark. Jesus Christ, that is terrifying. Like, I've never really been scared of sharks, but I'm actually kind of scared of them. Did you see the way that thing came out of nowhere? That's kind of like going on a walk in a misty morning. You literally can't see anything, and then next thing you know, a car drives past you. Can we actually watch that again? Because it literally, like, appeared out of nowhere. Okay, so you've got the guy here, and then the shadow just appears, and there's the shark. Absolutely not that genuinely terrifying, and I think I've got a new fear. This firefighting tanker pilot got distracted and didn't notice the hill right in front of him. Is he gonna crash? Please don't crash. Okay, I think he's fine. Is he fine? I don't know. Oh my god, that's scary. You can't get distracted whenever you drive planes. I've always wondered this. Like, imagine if somebody was, you know, driving a plane, controlling it. If they wanted to, they could literally, like, crash the plane and get put on the news. I feel like I'm the only type of person to have them thoughts because I'm low-key kind of evil and kind of weird. But, like, if I was, like, a pilot, I would literally be thinking, oh my god, should I do, like, a trick? They could literally do anything they wanted to that plane. But they got the pro level instead. Oh my god, that thing. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so scary. It's like whenever you're on a ship and the water goes everywhere. Oh my god, they better run. 
You need to get off there. Don't stand in it. I don't know if you've ever been in a cruise before. I've never really been in one. I've been in the ship once to get to England because the flights weren't like available. But if you've ever been in a cruise, sometimes there will be pools. And if you go over waves in the ocean, obviously if it goes side to side, then the water's going to come out. I'm going to look up a video right now of a pill going mad in a ship. The majority of times ships are designed to like be able to withstand that pressure of like the sea. It's like the sea is like a big wave of water. Like it is quite scary. Okay, so this is basically what it's talking about. As you can see, they're on a ship, which is obviously in the sea. But the way the sea is, it's swaying the ship side to side. And that is causing the pool to literally overflow. And in that case, with that ship, with like the big concrete thingies, it was like attached from a string. So like whenever it was going side to side, it was swaying the thing side to side. Basically, what I'm trying to say is the ocean is scary and they nearly lost their lives. Sometimes bus drivers think they're in Formula One. Okay, this guy's on a snowy road and he's going way too quick. This bus, oh my god, why is he literally gonna crash? I have to say it again, but that could be another fear of mine. Why am I literally getting so scared of everything in this video? Yet again, it's quite scary. Bus drivers are kind of like pilots. They literally like get people from one point to another and they're paid to do that. It's not kind of scary to think if they really wanted to, they could just flip the bus and like end every single person's life in the bus. I mean, the first clip was kind of scary, but it wasn't that bad. It was just like snowy roads, which you should be very careful if you're driving on. But that second clip, I don't know what was going on. That guy proper went into the back of like a lorry. These women were kayak when a whale almost accidentally swallowed them while trying to catch a school of fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Fortunately, it immediately spit them out and they were completely fine. Wait a minute. Then people literally witnessed somebody getting eaten by a whale and they just like didn't flinch. We need to watch that again where the whale literally jumps up and eats them. Like that whale literally tried to eat them. Look, they literally, they got swallowed. And that guy didn't even flinch. Do you want to know something? That is scary. Like, I literally think I'm never going to come across a whale. I've came across a seal and a Baskin shark and fish, but never a whale. And do you want to know something? After watching that clip, I'm now scared of whales. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. That was some of the luckiest people caught on camera. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, press the big red subscribe button. And yes, I'll see you all in my next video.